Welcome back, everyone. So you're back for more Electric Coach? Well, while I was waiting for this uh, team to finish drying, I painted their uh, platforms and I primed all the figures uh, all white. This guy right here is one of my uh, offensive tackles. I'm going to redo this figure. I'm going to take this figure apart. I didn't like how it turned out. So before I go further with it, I'm going to get a, I'm going to try a different set of legs. This figure is a bit too tall and its hands can't get engaged in the uh, blocking scheme. So gonna come back at this figure later so while I'm waiting after painting and after priming these uh, figures here I decided to uh, do this uh, short video on uh, on painting um, painting pretty much is what it is you get the color you want you get your brush what have you and you uh you place the colors on the figure where you want it but for some people painting can be a challenge and this video is primarily for you for you for those guys out there who aren't really sure about how to get started with their paint job or if you've never painted a team before and you want to try your hand at painting I like to recommend <clears throat> this uh, small technique first the figure that you choose you want to choose a very easy figure to paint and in my opinion I believe the Haiti repro figure like the one you see here this Haiti repro blocker figure is the best type of figure to practice painting on primarily because it's what I call an open configuration type of figure you see all around it you can get your brush anywhere on the figure you need it to be on the sides, the legs, the chest area, and of course the helmet area. This figure I primed using two primers. The helmet and the pants, I used a white primer, and the torso and the arms, I used a dark primer. And the reason why I did that is because I use my, my gray primer when I intend to paint a dark jersey, like a black jersey or a navy blue jersey. And I use the white primer if I intend to paint areas that are of light color. <clears throat> now, you chose the figure that you want to practice on. Haiti repro blocker what team do you want to try painting first well there are college teams there are pro football teams what have you and I want to use a team that I think everybody is familiar with the Oakland Raiders The uniform of this team is the easiest team to paint. Why? Because it's only two colors, black and silver. There is no guesswork in the right color paint that you should get. Black and silver is what it is. Or if you want, you can use a uh, gray type of paint 
but here we're going to paint this uh, figure this figure into an Oakland Raider I'm going to show you how easy it is and we're going to use folk art silver anniversary you can get this paint at your uh, local art store or uh, you can go to Michael's they sell this paint and we're going to use a, a typical flat black paint by Apple Barrel that's all you need these two colors right here <clears throat> unless of course you're going to paint the Raiders in the white jersey and then you'll need a white type of paint moreover these paints are uh, rather inexpensive this folk art is probably about maybe a dollar and 25 cents for a bottle and this apple barrel paint you can get this sometimes for like 50 cents <clears throat> now as far as painting usually I like to use a small brush like if you look here it's not very many hairs on this brush I trimmed off some of the uh, some of the hairs here to make the brush this size especially for doing like helmets I want to do the helmet you know this brush is ideal for that so we're gonna put silver paint on the area of the figure that's the white primer that's the, that would be the helmet and the pants and we're going to put black paint on the jersey area. Now, the tops of the socks on the Raiders uniforms are all black. But since this is part of the leg, I went ahead and painted this, the, the area where the sock top is, all white. So it really doesn't matter when it comes down to a white primer. You can use white primer for an entire figure on any on using any color you want. If you want to paint a blue jersey and you want to use white primer, you can. But like I said earlier, I I normally use my gray primers when I when I want to paint a dark jersey. So let's get started painting this figure into and Oakland Raider which is again the, the easiest uniform to paint also the uniform only has three stripes one on the helmet and one on each pants leg three black stripes let's move this helmet out of the way I like to start top down so I'm going to paint the helmet silver first and then I'm going to go to the and after that I'm going to go to the jersey with a black and then I'm going to come back to the silver to, I'm, going to, I'm going to come back to the pants with silver so I'm going to get my uh, silver paint here folk art silver paint and there are other silver paints you can use Apple Barrel has a uh, a pure silver paint but it just so happened that this one was on my uh, on my work table here, so I snatched this one up. You don't have to stir it; it's well mixed. Get a little bit in my cap there, because all we're doing is just a helmet anyway for right now. And I simply dab a little bit on my brush here. Now, when usually, a lot of times when you start painting a helmet paint may run down the shoulders or the back of the neck of the figure but it's no need to worry because we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come with the black paint over top of it so I simply take my brush and I start applying the silver paint on the head or helmet of the figure Now some of you may say, well, once you get everything done, what about the symbol on the helmet? 
well, one way you can uh, do it, you can order some decals from some of the uh, guys in the hobby who make decals. Or you can paint the symbol yourself, which requires a lot of patience. Well, the fastest way to get a symbol on the helmet is to simply put a dot to, on the helmet to represent the symbol. If you're a first time painter, I wouldn't focus on, I wouldn't worry too much about the symbol on the uniform that much because your objective as a first time painter is to learn how to handle your brush and and interact with your figure without without making a mess okay I now have silver paint on the figures helmet and the camera is basically seeing the silver just like it sees white so imagine if you can the head of your electric football figure silver so we're going to set that there we're going to clean off our brush here let that soak in our paint cleaner and by the way speaking of paint cleaner this is what I use here it's called brush cleaner actually you uh, pour a little bit of this in a container and when you're ready to um, clean off your brushes you dip your brushes in this <coughs> excuse me and uh, a little paper towel take the brush out and wipe the brush head onto the paper towel and uh, you can run some warm water over your brush also to help get off the excess so I'm going to put the cap back on my silver paint and now I'm going to go to my black paint my black apple barrel paint <clears throat> I'm going to get it ready make sure brush is clean here now I very as I as I just use the silver paint I could go to the pants with that silver but like I said before I like to work from top down so I want to get my black and moreover for the sake of this video I want to get my colors in as quickly as I as quickly as I can so that you can see what's going on here. So let's wait for that silver to dry. Meanwhile, I want to show you something that's very special, very special. This is a fully customized Oakland Raider figure. This is the Marcus Allen figure. And this figure was created by Reginald Rutledge in Fort Worth, Texas at footballfigure.net. You see the detail? Now for you new painters, you may not be ready for this type of detail just yet. So that's why I decided to do this particular video to get you started painting and then maybe if you get better at, at painting and, and or sculpting what have you configure or, or putting or building a figure you may decide you want to go this far and actually start customizing your figure with this type of detail the figure has a face mask it's got the Hanky towel on the side. Marcus Allen, the real Marcus Allen, he wore Pumas, the Puma shoes, 
All of this, by the way, is our decals. The number, the symbol on the side of the helmet. It's a decal. The, the shoulder numbers on the jersey. Decals. The name of the player, Allen, on his back. All of it's a decal. And this figure, again, was created by Reginald Rutledge out in Fort Worth, Texas of uh, footballfigure.net. And this figure I have here, the, the Haiti Repro Blocker, we're going to paint that figure to be an Oakland Raider, but it won't be in the detail as the Marcus Allen figure. So I think that silver paint is dry now. Moreover, these apple barrel paints, you may have to use more than one coat. The, the silver that's on this on this figure, this this folk art, you may have to use a second coat also. So let's get our black paint out. Again, you don't have to stir this apple barrel. It's, uh, it's very stable and it's well mixed. We get a little bit in our cap here. Set that right there. And again, like I said in the previous video, see this tall lean bottle? You don't want to have this bottle just sitting out in the open. One tap and the whole bottle will, fill, will spill over. So now I'm ready to start painting the jersey of this figure. So I get a little bit of black paint on my brush. Now as I paint, I want to be sure not to get any of this black paint on the helmet of the figure. So you remember back when you was a kid and you first learned how to color? You had to stay in the lines, right? Well, you got to apply some of those skills when you paint your electric football figure. Now, we have to also take into account, as we paint the, the upper body of this figure, the arm area. Let's move in a little closer. So this is where the skin complexion goes. Now, when I paint my, my, my uh, Haley Repro blocker figures, I go ahead and paint the whole upper body the same color as the jersey. Why? Because when I go to paint my complexion for my figure, I'm going to put the complexion on top of the color that I put on the jersey. Right here is, right here is, is the arm area of the figure, right? So when that dries, if this guy is going to be a black guy, a white guy, or, his, or a Hispanic guy, light-skinned black guy, whatever his complexion is, I'm going to put that color right here on top of this black. So now as I go by the helmet, because I'm using this very small brush, I have to carefully go under the helmet without getting any black on it and let's say I make a mistake and get color on the helmet There's a couple of ways you can handle it one you can let it dry and then you can paint over it but because this silver is so light and so thin the black just may show through it so what you can do is you can get a razor blade and you can lightly scrape off here's my razor blade right here where if you got some paint that you don't want use your razor blade without without scratching the figure you can scrape off that unwanted paint so okay you see how this how the how the jersey is now coming all black now, because we haven't done the pants yet, 
if I accidentally get a little bit of uh, black paint on the pants, that's okay because we haven't even started there yet. And if push comes to shove, we can take our razor blade and scrape it. Because remember, the silver is too light. So if we try to paint over the black, the black may not, the black still may show through that silver. And speaking of showing through, remember when we primed our figure? If, if I use this dark gray primer on a team that I know is going to be in a light color, like let's say if I wanted to paint a team with white uniforms and I use that dark gray primer, no matter how many coats of white I put on top of that gray primer, that gray primer is going to show through that white a little bit. That white's going to look kind of dingy. Now you see how the jersey of the figure is coming, coming together. I'm touch right here a little bit. Now you see also, remember how I said the Haiti Repro figure is an open configuration? It's so, it's so wide open that I can be a little carefree about how I handle my brush in the figure because I know for the most part I'm not going. This brush is not going to touch an area on the figure where I don't want the paint. And it's ideal for me doing this video because I have to keep the figure steady in front of the camera for you to see. Okay, now almost there. Almost got the black jersey done. Turn it over. Almost there. <clears throat> Just gotta do this part right here over the shoulder. Gonna paint all this the same color as the jersey. Now on these blockers, when I paint my complexion, I send I take the complexion all the way up the arm, all the way up to the shoulder part here. Some guys just paint the hand area right here in the front. But I get the whole shoulder, arm, everything, and make all of it one complexion. Just a little bit more. And we will have covered this jersey. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Now, we've just painted our jersey black and the helmet silver. Let's say if you wanted to paint a college team, you wanted to you know, practice doing that. A team like Penn State is very easy. Two colors, blue and white. You see? So when you, you can, you use this approach to learn how to handle your brush and how to, and how to interact with your figure. And then as you get better, at painting then you'll be able to try other figures 